Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to I Am The Fifth Element. My name is Juan and I'm here to do an additional energy read for today, which is June the 27th, 2022. All right, guys, this is, I was sitting and just sitting with the message that I am uploading now and um, gonna talk about some changes that are going on with my gifts and this channel, okay? Our message is going to be something along those lines. So let's go ahead and get it. Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, angels of the highest love and light, you are welcomed here. Please fill this space. I'm here to do an energetic read for YouTube as a collective for today, June 27th, 2022. Using me as the channel, please give us a clear and concise message. You know how I read. Thank you. All right, so what better place to start? You can tell, you'll look at the video that I'm uploading now. It will pre precede this one. And so I am now in my teaching divine self. The first video that I am releasing today is in my powerful God energy. And it's all going to be displayed in this, the lights on the setup. So it has nothing to do with anything except the energies that I am emitting. Okay, so for those who have been with me since the onset of my channel, I have always said that you do not send negative work back. This was something that I had stood on in my practice for 19, 20 plus years until recently, okay? I have been made to become comfortable with my dark potential energy. Comfortable with operating in it. Comfortable with using it. Why? Because of my divine self, it is something that I hesitated to integrate. It's the best way to say it. Because I was... Oh, it's dark, it's dark, it's dark. No, I'm I'm supposed to get rid of all of my dark parts and step fully into my light. Well, if that were true, God wouldn't have equipped us with this darker nature. He equipped us with this darker nature for self-preserverance, to preserve self. So if in your divine work. You are being inundated by dark workers, iniquitous workers, dark energy, and they are bombarding you and your household with this energy. You're going to get comfortable with or need to get comfortable with your darker nature. Okay. And so I sit fully in my sovereign self. This light has not changed and it will not change because this is the absolute truth. God is both light and dark. He would not have equipped us with these abilities to be in the darker potential energy if there was never a need to use it. Okay. So now I'm comfortable using my dark energy because and I just heard, you're going to get up off of me, okay? So at first, I was just wrapping my energy and creating this impenetrable shield, wrapping it tight that was just every time somebody in negative energy would try to send it my way, it would just repel it and bounce it back. Now, in my darker energies and mastering my, I just heard Anubis again, and mastering my darker energy, not only are you getting booped back by this impenetrable, hurt loud and clear, uh, thank you, Holy Spirit, layer of protection, but you're getting booped back into something, into illness, okay? I'm just going to be honest with you. And the more you try to continue to um, project and force your energy this way, the more, uh, the stronger the uh, repercussions are going to be, heard loud and clear. And so what they show me is someone being bounced back. So on their butt, on their ass, okay? They show me someone trying to penetrate the bubble, being bounced back, being put on their butt, and then bounce back on their butt three times, okay? This is the energy, 
and I'm on a mission of truth. I'm always going to tell you, you got I, if you're an alchemist, something else I want to talk about. You can call yourself an alchemist all day unless you are having proof of your alchemy, meaning pictures that show you that you are actually alchemizing energy. Okay, then you're not an alchemist. You're a wannabe alchemist. And it's time to grow your gifts because if you're actually alchemizing energy, everything you do in your mind's eye is going to show up in the thinking stuff. So every time I alchemize, every time I use my magic, I wait for it to show up in the thinking stuff, in the ethers, don't you? So if you're doing magic and you're not seeing it show up, then how effective is your magic? time to grow. Okay. That's for those in light energies, for those that are in dark energy that keep, you're going to um, wipe yourself out, hurt loud and clear. Okay. Because my barriers are erect. They're not coming down. And so this is your strong warning to correct yourself. How do you correct yourself? Well, you take the focus off of someone external to you and all of the things that you see, sense, and feel that irritate you about that person, you look inside to find out why. Get to the root of why. Heal the why. Heal the ouch is what I just heard, which is a card in one of my decks, and I'm going to pull a card for this read. All about healing the ouch internally. So healing you. I believe it's in the enchanted map deck. So let's get us a card about a need to heal the ouch. And because I can tell you that if you are unwilling to heal your ouch and you continue to project your energy and force your energy where it is unwanted, you will end up wiping yourself off of this existence. That is not an exaggeration. That is the absolute truth. One card, please, for help navigating this energy. For those that need to, um, uh, because I'm not concerned about the light that's needing to learn how to work with their dark energies. This heavy concentration is about dark energies that are having a hard time controlling themselves. Okay? Make no mistake about it. And the lack of control is detrimental only to you. One card, please, for help with navigating this energy. A card wanted to come out, but I'm going to get a jumping card. Just one. Thank you. Home reversed. Okay. That's two cards. So they came out like this which for me are reverse cards, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so we have, and they told me to read it up, um, upright and reverse. So we have home and commitment as cards. So 27 and then 36. So 27 breaks to a nine and 36 breaks to a nine. Master Building 99 energy is about being the change you wish to see by helping humanity release what no longer works. Cannot make it up. Okay? So, in the reverse, this is about somebody who's putting their attention, have no commitment to their home, to their self, to their life. So, the feeling I get is that you're so committed in watching someone else learn, live, love, grow that your home is reversed and in the deficit, okay? So we'll read both upright and reverse for both of these cards. Super interesting. And they want to take a look at the base of the deck. Uh, you cannot tell a lie. The base of this deck is about somebody not being in the flow, somebody not riding the wave. And the only reason why you're not riding the wave is because 
you are trying to craft something. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They cannot be crafted. Okay. Yeah. Someone just refusing to come into the light. And as you refuse to come into the light, your whole existence, your commitment and your home are reversed. Your soul. So if you want to get technical, home is a housing for the soul. Your avatar, okay? Your body, your existence is reversed. So we'll start with the dark energy and then end on a light high note. I'm looking for the book. So card number 27 for home. <clears throat> Some sort of movement. This card I went to, the page that I went to. So there will be movement. I told you the strong concentration is getting each side. I tell no lies. Each side of the coin is going to get to a place of balance here on Gaia. So home. You are comfortable in your own skin. You belong. The upright definition for the home card. Peace, security, safety, belonging, and all the features one would want from home are indicated now. The home card represents an invitation to experience what it's like to be secure in your own skin, to live comfortably no matter what is happening in the world around you. It's a time for opening your eyes to your tribe of like-minded people or a special person who makes you feel like you've come home. Home is love, and love is all around you now. Whatever your inquiry, you're where you're meant to be and will reap great benefits by staying on this path regardless of where it leads you. Home will always be with you. It's where the heart is. Reversed for home. If you don't feel at home, it's time to do a thorough and fearless inventory. What are you hiding from? Are you afraid of being yourself? Do you feel like you don't belong where you are? What if you choose another path? Does your understanding of home perhaps dictate that such a place must be unsafe, unstable, or unfulfilling? It's time to love yourself and create a new sense of safety and security within. You might have chosen a situation that is familiar and led you back to the original source of your pain. No matter That's a mockingbird doing vocalization. So this is somebody who is copying, okay? You're in copying mimicry energy. God is going to expose you here. So if you're interested in growing, fine. Take the directives and grow. But if your interest is to stay cloaked and remain here, you will be identified and revealed every time. No matter, because this is an important and powerful invitation to a new you. Say no to the pain of the past. Say no to the voice of your inner critic. No to those who want to dim your light to make themselves brighter. Choose a new home. Take refuge in knowing that beauty and a true sense of belonging lie ahead. Okay? Can't make any of this up. So card 36, as 36 continues to ring in my mind's eye and I go straight to it in the book, okay? Upright. A true commitment is a responsibility of the heart, mind, body, and soul. This is a good time to make one. This is a good time to make one. This is a good time to make one, to make a commitment to getting to the tower energy. I feel it strongly. The book just fell off my lap. To the lightness in you, okay? And although the book fell, still on 36. 
upright partnership formed at this time are harmonious and powerful. The commitment card also indicates the natural evolution of a relationship from its inception to a literal or metaphorical marriage. And I was just shown um, Amun Ra winking at me. So about a about your divine work, about your spiritual partnership. And so somebody is copying my work. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. Now, let me put this book down. If you are copying my work, you want to stop. You might have wanted to investigate this activity before you started because there was one other who did it and she would have told you that that's not a good idea. Okay. So that was the Mockingbird and vocalizations again. That's about mimicry. Harvesting someone's energy. Still going. This is why this tower energy is felt so strong. Um, inception to a literal or metaphorical marriage. At the very least, there is a promise of fulfillment and a form, in some form. However, you must be conscious of what you're committing to. Be clear about the nature of your commitment. I'll say it again. Be clear about the nature of your commitment. And your responsibility to it. Others are more willing to enter into partnership at this time. Remember that your partnership with spirit, I told you, and the highest version of your own self will engage the highest version of another. I'll say it again. Remember that your partnership with spirit and the highest version of your own self will engage the highest version or highest self in another. Okay? reversed still mockingbird vocalizations my team is no joke and god plays no games about me somebody is literally literally trying to mimic and harness my energy but doing this activity has your home and your commitment reversed your soul and the commitment to your soul reversed you may be walking into a commitment or contract you will later regret. This isn't a good time to sign agreements or make any choice that would tie you up for a long period. If you're in a relationship, you may not receive the commitment you desire. Say it again. You're not going to get from it what you think you are. I'll read it again. If you are in a dark relationship, you may not receive the commitment you desire. Don't despair for something much better awaits you. Now is also a time for agreements to be broken. So agreements to work on this darker path, it's time for you to break those agreements. Remember that rejection is God's protection. What hurts you now leads to wisdom later. You can't make any of this up. Everything so succinct here. This is our message on today, beautiful people. You're either in home and commitment in the upright, 99 energy, master building energy, or you are in 18 energy, which is 18. Nine and nine is 18. So if you are unsure what energy you're in for today, pay attention to your coding. If you're where you're supposed to be, where God is needing you to be in this 99 vibration, which again is about helping humanity release what no, no longer works, you're going to be bombarded with 99 coding on today. If you are in lower doing thinking being, you are going to be bombarded with 18 coding on today. Okay? And I just dispatched this coding so you cannot run from your true station in life because it is in recognizing where you are in this energy that your healing begins. 
This is our message for today. Beautiful people, I hope it was helpful. Please don't forget to like and comment. Also check the description box below. You'll find additional helpful information about this read, angel numbers, numerology, additional insight. Until next time, I'm wishing you miracles and blessings. I was just shown the golden palace in my mind's eye. Namaste.